onda, Yubi Gamer? Yo soy Marina, estoy aquí hoy con el director de animación de Watch Dogs 2, Colin Graham, que nos va a contar algunas novedades, algunos detalles que él ya sabe sobre el juego que acaba de ser lanzado. How are you, Colin? I'm really good. I'm really happy to be here in Mexico City to talk about Watch Dogs. Let's start this interview by talking about driving. You know that fans are really excited about driving in this new game, and they're expecting it to be a little different from the previous one. Well, that's exactly it. So one of the big feedbacks that the fans gave us was that they weren't like super thrilled with the driving. So we took uh, we took it back to, to sort of like grassroots, and we worked with these guys at Ubisoft Reflections in uh, Newcastle in England, and they're real experts on driving. So they uh, basically took the whole driving model apart and put it back together and retuned it. And why that's really important is because San Francisco is a much harder city to drive than in Chicago. You've got all these turns and twists. You got Lombard Street and you know Russian Hill. So yeah, it's anyway it's pretty good right now. You're gonna see it's uh, uh, you know you can see when you play the game. Something else that fans are really excited is the drone. What kind of crazy stuff can we do with the drone? Well, there's a couple of crazy things you can do with the drone. Uh, but first of all, the drones you have, Marcus has like a, a little RC drone that kind of rolls around. It's got a robotic arm. It can interact with things. And it can also shoot taunts at people. It's actually pretty funny because it's kind of rude. And uh, he's also got a flying drone that can sort of hover around. It can drop bombs. And it's a really good way to kind of sketch out the layouts. Now, the thing is, a lot of the missions in the game can actually be beat just by using the drone. So you do, don't even have to actually go into layout and risk getting caught and risk getting shot at. So the, uh, uh, the two drones are kind of used in combination like that. One of the things you can do as well, and I've seen some of the developers do this, is they take their, their, uh, their bombs, their taser mines, or their explosives, and they actually throw them up in the air and throw them onto their, their flying drone. And then they hack the bombs and turn them into like a proximity, and then they drive that thing into the layout and they use it like as a sort of a suicide drone to take out. <laughs> to take out the enemies. And uh, yeah, anyway, we didn't intend for that to happen, but people started doing it, and there you go, you can do that in Watch Dogs with the drones. The Ubisoft offices are in San Francisco. Any chance that we can go in and hack the Ubisoft office in the game? Absolutely, you can hack Ubisoft. Okay, so all the Dead Set crew are like people that I want to hang out with. Like, all of them are so fun. Which is your favorite character and why? Okay, my favorite character is Marcus because, um, but it's a close tie between Marcus and Wrench. Uh, the reason is, is because Marcus is um, a, just a really good, uh, wholesome person who actually cares about his people. He is the kind of the heart and soul uh, of what DeadSec is all about, and he's like the kind of person that I would like to work with and I'd like to follow. Wrench is also one of our favorites. He's a fan favorite, and he's really like a favorite of mine because he's just so crazy. But Wrench on his own would just maybe be a little bit too much. Like, Marcus is the real deal. Marcus is the man. Okay, many of our fans would love to work with video games. Yeah. They, Some of them are young, they still don't know what they're gonna do with their life, but they would love to work in video games. What do you recommend to them? Well, two things. First, I recommend is find out what you like to do and go to a really good school. If you want to be an animator, go to a really good animation school um, and uh, really practice your skills like that. But the second thing, and I think this is the, 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 the secret uh, to getting into the video game industry, is make a mod or make a game. Get involved with actually you know, opening up the software and uh, modding a game. It doesn't even have to be a Ubisoft game. Just make something and we'll be impressed by that. We will pretty much hire you on the spot if you make a cool mod. Awesome. I love your hat, by the way. It's, uh, they're pretty fancy, right? Where did you get yours? Uh, these are pre-order hats, right? That's right. That's how I have mine. Thank you very much, Colin. Okay, hey, hey stop, you stop, you stop. Okay, let's go. 